In this video, we're going to look at how to make the services custom content dynamic in Expression Engine. And there are a few ways that we could do this. We could do it as snippets, which we've seen before. We could do it as channels, which we've seen. Um, there could be a web services channel, and you add them that way. Um, instead, we're going to use something new, which is categories. And what we are going to do is we're going to save the extra channel for our portfolio and then have our services be a category of our portfolio. So for example, if we had a bunch of different projects, we could assign a service to each one of those projects. So our portfolio and our services would be interconnected and each portfolio piece could potentially have a service attached with it. Um, now, this is a perfectly fine method in Expression Engine to do this um, because categories are something that are easy to update for clients. And if you ever had to expand your services, all you would have to do is um, add a new category to your portfolio and you could use them interchangeably. So, to set up a category in Expression Engine, we would come under Admin and Channel because these categories belong to the channel, um, just as custom fields do. Um, we'll find that our categories are located under the Channel Admin tab. So if we come into Categories, we're going to create a new category, and we're going to call them Services Categories. We'll leave these default as are, and then we're going to come in and add categories to this group. Notice that this is a group of categories. We'll come in here, and then we're going to create our first group, and we will just take this content here, name it. The URL will be created automatically. The category description, we're going to use this text. There's no image associated with these, but notice that you could put in an image field here, choose a parent, and Expression Engine also allows you to add custom fields to your categories. So if you wanted to have other parameters or options or file uploads, etc., you could also add those here. These are just the default options that it gives you with a category. And that's a really nice feature. Some other CMS are limited in categories and just let you give a title and a description and, and nothing more. So go ahead, add that. Notice that that's our first category, and we'll go ahead and create other categories. We have a web development and an SEO consulting. Paste in the same description. SEO consulting. There we go. Now we have our categories here, and the next step would be to take those categories and instead of having them just be an Expression Engine, replace this content here. To do that in Expression Engine, we're going to use something called the Channel Categories tag. And this is very similar syntax to the Channel Entries tag, um, except that we just changed the last parameter here to Categories instead of Entries. So when we're using this, there's a few things that we need to, to be aware of and a few parameters um, that we want to set. The first parameter that we're going to look at is the channel. So you have to tell it what um, channel of content. In our case, it's going to be a portfolio channel that we're using. Notice that we can disable um, custom fields, making our queries a little bit faster. Um, and then we're going to also look at show empty. Because we want our services to show up, even if we don't have a portfolio piece, we may just not have a current portfolio piece. That doesn't mean we don't want that service to be listed on our site. So we want to make sure that we use the show empty parameter. And finally, the styling or nesting. And this one is worth looking at. Um, something that is very common in Expression Engine, I'm sorry, in CMS, in general is that they often assume how you want to format your um, content or your meta content meaning that it will give you markup for you and by default expression engine if you say output the categories it will output them as a group of nested unordered lists now this is great for navigation 
and oftentimes very helpful, but in our example, this is not marked up in this format. So we have to set a parameter that says linear display, and that just puts out the content straight without any markup at all. And how many times have you been inside a CMS and wish that there was an option for no markup at all? Sounds great, right? So we'll use those in tandem together to display the um, categories on our page. So let's go ahead copy this to start as we have in the past and we have all of our content inside of EE so we don't have to worry about deleting it from our template so we can come into our services and we're actually going to leave one of our services because we will loop through them um, we're still going to need one of them um, to act as the template for the rest so we'll paste in let's see reorganize this a little bit and we do want that section tag to repeat every time, so we will um, put the section tag inside our channel categories tag. We'll just tab this content in so it's easier to see. And there we go. So now we have um, our channel entries up above and our channel categories down below. And now we're going to start adding in the different parameters that we need. We need to say what channel it is. Um, show empty set to no, and we're also going to set up uh, the disabled. So we'll start there with the channel, and this is going to be portfolio, and this is important to note that until we actually create the portfolio channel, none of these categories will show up, so we need to make sure to go do that before um, we take our final preview. But if we say portfolio for the channel, we'll say disable, But you know what? We're actually going to use our category field or category description, so we do not want to use that option. So we'll just skip to show empty. Yes. And then we'll choose our style. And this is actually going to be linear. Now, there is one more that we need and this is our category group and we only have one category set up now but the thing in the expression engine is that you can have the same name category more than once or the same category name more than once as long as it's in different category groups so sometimes um, you might be looking for a category that's in more than one group so you have to specify um, which one it is for expression engine and we'll go ahead and add that one in here Oop, nope, not up there. Put it down here, category group, and we only have one category. So that takes care of the wrapping of the content. Um, for category, for the name of it, it's just category name. And for the description, which has no XHTML or HTML markup, so we have to wrap it in the P tags ourselves. We're going to say category description, and if you ever need to find those on the category entries page under variables, it will tell you all of the different variable names that you could use, including your own custom ones. So we'll go ahead, mark that up, code it up, let's go ahead, update it, and then look at our template, and we'll notice it doesn't look bad, but it has disappeared. And the reason is, is because when we said channel portfolio, even though we said show empty, there's no even portfolio channel yet. So what we'll do very quickly is we'll just go into channels, create our new channel, call it portfolio, we don't need to duplicate anything, we will choose our preferences and under category group we'll say services categories, main statuses, and we don't have a portfolio field group yet, we'll have to go back and do that next, but at least we'll have our services category connected with our portfolio channel so that the content can display on the page. 
We'll go ahead and submit that, and if we come back and refresh our page, voila. Now our services page is completely dynamic. We have our main content being updated through our pages channel. We have our services that we offer as categories of our portfolio. And we've started to set up our portfolio. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back and we'll start making our custom fields for our portfolio and start tying together the final pieces of this site.